Hello and welcome. My name is Julia and this is my Rainbow Kitchen. I'm here with, with Lex today and we are going to make a Whole Foods plant-based banana bread that we love in this family. Um, and Lex wanted to join me to show you all how we do it with the Thermomix. So let's get started. Here we are with the Thermomix. Lex is helping me today. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this one zucchini in here. I'm going to chop that up. This I'm putting just a little bit more fiber and vegetables and goodness and then for our baked goods uh, to six. So let's take a quick look. Sometimes a few bigger pieces get stuck to the side, so we're going to take a quick look here. That uh, looks good. So I'm going to spray the zucchini down and I'll show you what it looks like. So nicely small chops. So then here we go with the actual with the banana bread. You can, you know, if you don't think you would like the zucchini, uh, you can just leave it out. Uh, we find you can't really taste it in the final product. And these are four bananas peeled, and I just break them in half. We have um, about 3.3 ounces of coconut sugar. You can just dump that in. Whenever Lex helps me, I just pre-measure everything. I have ounces of creamy almond butter. And you can use this, you can dump it out and use this spoon next to scrape out the inside. Now we want uh, about six and a half ounces of flour and I have a whole wheat pastry flour. And I also put in uh, three teaspoons of baking mm -hmm. soda and about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And I have some homemade vanilla extract here. And finally, we're going to add, hit that green button. Two ounces of walnuts. So I'm going to put the lid on. So I'm going to turn this to speed five. We're going for 20 seconds. That was uh, five. 20 seconds on speed five. Let's have a look here. A little bit of flour on the outside. That's okay. What I'm looking for is I want to make sure I don't have any big chunks of banana in here. nothing here so now I will pour this in the prepared paint um, loaf pan and then it goes into the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes and sometimes I put just a little bit of uh, brown sugar on the top as I bake it and then it makes this sort of you know really delicious sweet crust on top but um, you know it's actually sweet enough the way it is so that's definitely not necessary this is also it's very very yummy and sweet and also describe and like thanks for joining me today in my rainbow kitchen as Alex and I made banana bread uh, if I remember I will include some pictures at the end of uh, the final product uh, please remember to like and subscribe it does help me grow my channel and now I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and if you want to have a personalized demo to see how the Thermomix might fit into your kitchen, please contact me and it's an easy four-step process to get started with that. So I look forward to hearing from you. Mm -hmm.